Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I get into this situation. Many people ask me why I decide to train Kung Fu in China. And the simple answer is, why not? But the truth is that it was always my dream. You know, when I was a kid, I was watching all Kung Fu movies with my dad and my brother. And back in the 90s, you can even watch Shaolin shows in TV. And when I was in the first grade, teacher asked the bigger question, who you wanna be when you grow up? And most of the kids gave boring answer, you know, more normal answers. Teacher, policeman, fireman, but not me. I said that I wanna be Shaolin Monk. So probably you already know why I did it. So the plan was that I'm going to make my showering dream come true in 2020 as a birthday gift from myself to myself for my 30th birthday. But we all know that 2020 was a special year because of the coronavirus. So here we are, 2024, now or never. Let me tell you how it looks like to train showering Kung Fu in China. From Monday to Friday we had three training sessions per day. First one was a one hour session of Qigong or Tai Chi at 6 in the morning. Then we have a breakfast at 7. At half past 8 we start second training where you practice for around 3 hours basic Kung Fu, hard Qigong, power stretching or China, depends on the day. Then we had a lunch at 12 and after that you have a little bit longer break where you could rest. And normally you would use this time to chill or practice something by yourself or take a nap. You know just relax and collect some energy for the next training which was at half past two and this training normally was a little bit more hard and we practice Sanda which is a Chinese kickboxing forms, sparring, mehak one or power training depends on the day and after that we have a dinner at six before each training session we have to run I tried to count how many kilometers we did per day but there was no system because everything was depend on the day and how warm it was because you know every day was between 32 to 44 degrees so it was really warm and most of the time we trained outside and after these runs we have to run up on the stairs and then go down on all four with our heads down and this was a warm up and after that we did some stretching and this took around half hour and then we were ready for our training. Long story short, from Monday to Friday we train seven hours per day plus minus because if you did something by yourself then of course it was more but in the plan we have seven hours per day. And before each training session we run and of course we run up the stairs and then we go down on all four. And after that we stretch for around half hour and then he was ready for training. But now let's go for the free time, so weekend. Every Saturday I went to the city to fix my body, you know, get acupuncture, cupping or massage and of course get something good to eat. City sizing, shopping and more. On Sundays I usually like to spend time in nature hiking or looking for some place where I can spend time alone, you know, get my me time. And well, after weekend, we start from the beginning, so training montage.
The time in Shaolin is running very fast because you are busy for most of the day. Basically, you sleep, train, eat, train, eat, rest, train, eat, and repeat. So week is gone very fast and doesn't matter how long you are there because weeks, months or even years, the time is gone and you don't even know when. On my last day I felt like I just unpacked my bag yesterday and now I need to pack it back again. I know that it would be very romantic to say that this was life changing experience and I'm sure that for many people it was but I don't think that this trip changed how I am because I follow Buddha ideology for some time already and I'm martial art is not from yesterday but I'm sure that some people can change a lot there I just can tell you that it was amazing adventure I brought home a huge package of experience and ideas for my own martial art journey and I might not run at 6 in the morning or run 10 kilometers per day but I started to do Tai Chi or Qigong every day and I do stretch two times per week and I train stances once per week so actually I can say that something changed in my life after this experience after all. I think that is it and it's time to finish this video so thank you for watching and have a great day.